day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I'm in Inkscape, and I'm going to make Keychain in just a matter of minutes. So let's get cracking. All right, friends. So as you can see, the Inkscape template is loaded. I'm going to scroll way in because I want my Keychain to be about 70 millimeters or 7 centimeters across. I'm going to put a little bit of text. It is going to say Mount. And it's going to say Pisco, which is a cool set of stairs that I like to climb. And I like to leave little trinkets up there that if you've climbed up, then you can have them. They're free. It's kind of like how people do the painted rocks, but I'm doing 3D prints and Glowforge stuff. So once I've got the Mount Pisca, I'm going to go down and find a font. Let's see which one I want to use. Ooh, that Mount Pisca looks pretty sweet. I'm going to hit apply. Once again, remember I said I was going 70 millimeters. So now I'm going to hold down control. And I'm going to stretch it out till it's about 70. See up top where it says 60, 70. So right there, I like that. And now I'm going to zoom into that shape by holding control and rolling the mouse wheel up. I'm not exactly sure where I found this font. You'll have to Google that. I'm, of course, not selling these. I'm just making them for fun and to teach you. I'm going to add my keychain hole. Once again, same trick. Hold control so it stays circular. That's going to be a great size. So if you look at the corner where this says 2.7, that means it's the radius. So I like to have a five millimeter hole. So that works just perfect. Let's grab that shape and I'm gonna put it on the end where I want it. We must take our text. And remember, we have to do path and we need to make that object a path. And then I'm gonna combine this with the Glowforge Premium tools. So I don't need to worry about cutting them out. I'm gonna just make a sweet border around this. So right now I'm gonna grab the entire project and do file, save as, go to my keychain folder, and this is gonna be called Pisca. And now let's open the Glowforge app. Alrighty friends, so in the Glowforge app, let's hit create and let's start with a new blank design. You can see here I've got a piece of pine. Let's do add or import artwork and we're gonna upload that file remember we named it Pisca and when it comes in we have got our fancy words and we've got the little hole for our keychain I'm gonna grab and drop it down on my piece of wood so now with it placed I'm gonna select both parts and then from the premium tools I'm gonna use the sweet create outline when I hit create it drops an outline around this immediately, so I have got my keychain shape. If I click just on the keychain shape, I can reshape it. If I click down here, I can unlock the aspect ratio, so that way I can scale it in just one direction at a time. This allows me to keep this end as large as I want, and at the same time bring this end as small as I want. Just showing you it, it's not really important. For most things, you probably want to leave the aspect ratio locked. Now I'm going to click on my Pisca settings. I am choosing to engrave these. And when I engrave them, I'm going to use this one pass, 500 speed. It's going to do 90 lines, and it's going to be set for 4 millimeters. And a 35 power, one pass. For the outside edges, cutting this pine, I like to use the cut. I've got one set that does a speed of 125, 100% power, and it'll cut this pine in one swoop. But I like to, on the whole, I like to use that but do it twice. So I'm still going to put in that, but I'm going to edit it so it does two cuts, just so I'm sure that the whole cuts out. Now that I've got my entire design set up, it is time to send it to the printer. And friends, let's go make something magical. Alrighty friends, so of course the best part is pressing that magic button. Alrighty friends, there we have it. About four minutes later, a sweet Mount Pisca keychain. 
Alrighty friends, so that's about as quick and as easy as a project can be. Real quickly in Inkscape, we took words, changed them into a path, brought that into Inkscape with a hole, and then used that sweet premium tool to add the outline and make a keychain. Friends, if you found the video useful, please make sure you give it a like. If you've got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button, and last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.